<sighs> Hello, little. I'm back again. Bop again. Bop again. So I'm just enjoying doing a little of these chat videos. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about is finding your circle within the hobby. So, um, you know, people are here. Some of us are here for just the dolls. Some of us is here for the networking with people that actually share um, the love of the hobby, something we have in common that it's, you know, very hard to find, you know, outside of uh, the hobby, outside of the, the doll community. Um, many people don't quite understand. And as we mentioned before, some people like they will accept it, but they don't quite understand it or they don't get it. They don't, you know, we say, oh, I can bond with it. They're looking like bond with a doll. Like they don't get the terms. They don't get the lingo. And it, it's, it's very draining sometimes to have to keep explaining. Well, I mean this or explaining yourself or trying to justify why you say this or why you spent that. Um, with people that are non-doll collectors. I just, it, I remember I was so excited about finding these very realistic dolls that I, I ran out. I used to do outing videos and I used to show you know um, people the dolls all the time I was so excited about showing everybody how realistic these babies look and then it got to a point where all the responses and you know yeah a lot of them were good but when they were bad they were bad you know or they made me feel bad and I didn't like that feeling and it's just not knowing what you were gonna get just kind of wore thin with me and it just wasn't worth it for me anymore after a while so I kind of got over that um so I was you know mixing and mingling of course with other collectors and some artists that I did work with you know when you start buying from artists after a while and you have a little passing conversation as you're getting updates or you're making payments and stuff sometimes you begin a little be a little chatty and you know a couple of them I got a little bit you know comfortable with and you know we talked about the dolls the art you know stuff like that um and then other collectors we would talk about different sculpts and stuff and then we realized that we had other things in common outside of the doll world um i've met some amazing people um i've met some people where i've met them offline you know outside you know in person we've had several meetups and stuff like that and um you know, some people that like we have children around the same age and have different situations going on with our kids that's similar. And, you know, we just, it just, you know, I've just met people and it's, it's amazing. And then people all around the world, like just in different countries and everything. So it's really nice. Um, then there's the doll shows and you hook up and you, it's just, oh my gosh, it's just amazing. Everybody's walking around. I mean, you're in this hotel with all these, you know, thousands of people that everybody got babies and you, you don't have to feel crazy by pushing your baby around in the stroller and everywhere you go, you sit down for breakfast and there's a baby there and there's a baby here and you know, all the events and stuff. It's just fun, you know, fun, fun, fun. Um, but then there's the drama and there's going to be times where just like any other place in, in, in the world, anytime else in the world where you meet up with somebody and, and let's say it's five of you guys meet up and this one girl, she's just aggravating as hell. Like, gosh, why don't she get a stomach ache and go home? Like, you know, you just like, you just, the next time they invite you, you'd be like, okay, so is uh, Lulu coming? Cause just and then you wanna and then they say oh Lulu coming you be like yeah I I'm sorry I can't make it cause you really don't wanna be bothered with Lulu cause Lulu don't ruin the whole vibe and you got negative Nancy you don't want her there and then you got the one that's crazy and do wild stuff and you know it's everybody ain't gonna be for everybody don't make them a bad person you might not be a bad person I just don't like you I mean. It ain't cause you're black, it ain't cause you're white. I just don't like you. I don't I don't like you. I don't like your personality. I don't like the way you sound. I don't like the way you talk. I don't like the things you talk about. I don't like your collection. I don't like the car you drive. No, I'm just kidding. You know, I don't know about a car, so I don't know why I say that. But seriously, like it's sometimes you're just not gonna vibe with people. So what happened is sometimes you, and then sometimes you think you vibing with somebody 
and you realize really that ain't it. Sometimes people, ah, this is, I, I don't know where, if I heard this from Funky Daniva in another, in the LGBTYQSCFLMNAPQRSTUV community, or if it was somebody within this community said this, but this was, it was, I, it really was an intriguing point that they made and made me really think. So they said, um, people always say like, you should tell people what you don't like up front and what you like up front. And then it's kind of like, they're like, no, cause you teaching people how to play you and manipulate you. And it's kind of crazy. Cause like, I thought about that. Like there's things I'll say, like in my videos, like I don't like when people do blah, 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 or I can't, no, I can't stand that. And then when I meet these people, like, or, you know, in chats, the first thing they say, oh, I'm not like that. I don't really fool with a lot of people in the community. I, I just don't deal with girls and this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 blah. And it's like they saying all the right things, but it's because they've heard me say it, and that's really not who they are. So they build this fake persona, and you go along with this, and months go by, and then next thing you know, you see them, okay, you you over there, y'all y'all sissing it up. And y'all got this, she know all your business, this one know all your business, you talking to this one and this one. And then you said you don't really deal with all these people, but since you deal with everybody. And then you coming to me and asking little, you know, probing questions, trying to get information. What is you doing with all this information? Why do you need to know? Like, so then you realize that this person really ain't who they said it is. They just being this person because they thought this is what you like to get you to open up. And so now you don't open up to this person and you don't trust this person. And you realize that they'll fake the whole freaking time. So I don't know if I agree about saying, well, I don't like this. I don't like when you do this. I don't like when you do I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to teach you. I want you to be your authentic self so that when you do those things that I don't like, and if they're really, really things that are big things, I'm not saying like, you know, you snort when you laugh and I'm like, okay, it's really annoying that you sound like a little pig, but <laughs> I can't get past that type thing. But you know, it's like, if this is like your, your, like this is really, really your character and I don't particularly stand for the same things that you do. And we don't have to agree on everything, but you know what I'm saying? The overall, and then I don't want to tell you to change. Cause then that's not gonna be your true self, and eventually you're gonna you're gonna revert back to the original you, and that's gonna be a messy person that I don't want to deal with. So I rather use I rather see people for who they are, and that's why a lot of times I lay back a lot, and people talk and they I see how they interact and how they move around in the community. People get new and they come and they doing stuff on their channels and all, and and people be jumping to their rescue and all that. And I, you don't even know her like that. Give her a couple months. Right now, she just showing y'all her representative. The true her gonna show her colors in a minute. I don't like drama, this and other. And, and, and here we are five years later and you still in drama. But you said you wasn't a person with drama. But see, you didn't get, you didn't give it time enough to see that this is who this person really is. I don't know if I'm making sense to y'all. But I'm just saying like that type of stuff I like to avoid. But then you meet these people that you're know, like, oh my gosh, she goofy like me, she silly like me, you know, okay, you know, she like similar dolls as me, you know, or you know, at least we collect the same. We like we 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 like to make up stories about our babies. We have imagination, you know, we like the role play, we love shopping, we like this, this, and other, and then you you start to vibe or you know, um, their videos, their videos are like stuff. Oh, I love to watch her change her baby. Like so relaxed and to hear her talk or she's talking about different stuff. You know, some people, they talk, they'll inject a little bit of their personal self of life or what's going on with their day and what they did during the day and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, not the same old repetitive videos over and over again. And you may find yourself like, okay, I like this one. So you, 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 you click that on notification. You know what I mean? And then you then it's another person you like and then you like that person videos and this that and you're not everybody you're not gonna be close to. But at least, you know, you might have somebody, okay, this person I like to talk to her about the, the sculpts. This person I like to talk to about the painting. This person I like to talk to about clothes. This person I like to talk to 
totally non doll stuff. <laughs> this person, you know, it's just like, it's just, you find your circle over time and sometimes, you know, one fall out, you know, it's, you know, it's like that ring around the roses, pocket full of, po somebody told me that was a witch song, but I shouldn't sing it, but you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's like hot potato, hot potato, and you know, somebody fall and they don't, don't get the, you know, they see get snatched, you gotta go, you know, so it might, and then, you know, but you find your circle. That's what the community, like, and I realized that when you have, like, positive, the more positive, positive people um, that you are surrounded by, that people that, that encourage you or you encourage them or they make you excited about the hobby, um, when you talk to them, you feel, like, uplifted. You don't feel drained or feel like you want to quit or give up or stuff like that those are the type of people that you want to surround yourself for and i'm telling you like the hobby is great without having any friends in the in the hobby but when you have other people that you can share it with and laugh and even just watch videos and comment you don't have to be all personal in their inbox and stuff because you know sometimes people try to force a friendship and that don't work either like it's you know you you gotta let it grow organically um and I think, I think that that makes it just that much more fun. Um, I see a couple of people that have hooked up, you know, outside of the doll world and they became super close and it's really cool. You know what I mean? Um, I, you know, I've tried that and you know, it, I don't know, but, um, it's, it's nice. It's really, you know, it's really nice to see when you you know people vibe but it the main thing is definitely about the dolls and stuff but i mean hey it's a bonus when you like i said when you find someone that you really really like enjoy look at this little boy look at this little belly oh i just love this boy i love him <laughs> that you really really enjoy um you know sharing a hobby with so even if you know it's every few weeks y'all check bases or whatever or um sometime i have a friend that might message me and say hey did you see so and so scope that looked like something you you would like or i might do the same or i might be looking for a very sold out kid or something and have mentioned it to one of my friends and they hit me up and be like so and so got one for so and so price oh let me jump on it or vice versa um so yeah when you find that circle it's nice not saying it have to be a click. Is that what it's called? A click? A click? Click, click. And not saying that that you have to be in some, you know, snooty club or anything like that. Um, now, speaking of that, you know, online, on Facebook, they have all these different Facebook groups, you know, based off of what type of dolls you collect. And I think those are kind of fun, but then at the same time, it's kind of isolated. It's like you have the 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 Claire Taylor group, the Ping Lao group, the um Bonnie Brown group, the I seen one just open up a Natalie Blick group. Well, that's great, but then if you only share within those groups, then it kind of isolate the dolls and then like if some of them require you to absolutely have to have that uh, one of those sculpts or something to get in and then that kind of Again, it just keeps the artist's work secluded and it's not good exposure for the artist. Um, like, you know, like a lot of those fan pages are not, um, not beneficial for the artist. It's more beneficial for the collectors, I guess, so that they can trade and sell and share their babies or whatever. Um, but for the artist, it's isolation, it's less exposure because then people don't share in other groups. They only share in that particular group a lot of times. I don't know. But it, you know, but it does have its parts to it when you're, you know, you're really in love with a particular sculptor's work and you want to see more of their work or you want to just see their work or maybe you that's the only sculpts that you like. So you join these groups. So it's, you know, to each his own. But I'm in quite a bit of little groups now and trying to open up and that's another thing too um you got to be open-minded first to even you know um to even know what you like i mean what's gonna hurt if you join a group and then you realize it's not for you 
um, there's a group that um, I'm not going to say the group name, but there's a group in um, that's on Facebook. And to be honest, if you're a black artist and you post your dolls, you're really not going to get much attention off of it. Or if it's a black doll itself, you're not going to get much attention off of it because the group seems to only like white dolls and white artists. Um, and it's pretty interesting. Um, now, sometimes if a white artist paint a black doll, that doll might get a little bit more attention. Um, but there's also, there's doll, doll groups that are like dolls of color and ethnic group dolls and stuff. And I'm sure, you know, people that are not of color and not, you know, um, you know, posting, uh, like wanting to post black dolls and stuff like that. And then they post other dolls in the group probably feel the same way as I feel in some of the other groups. But I, you know, I left the group once, that one group that I was talking about once because I was like, yeah, I can't take it. But I stay in there because I realized that it is some really nice high-end dolls. And I actually happen to like both um, Caucasian dolls and black dolls. So I I stay in there because there's, there's a few artists that work that I do hope that one day I'd be able to like either see it in person at a doll show or a meetup or collect it in my my personal collection one day so I always stay in there just in case if something come up for sale and I can catch it at a time where I'm able to buy it so that's you know that's another reason to kind of be in groups you don't always have to be active or posting and stuff you can be a watcher you can be a Lola so I get to be a Lola in some of these groups um but yeah and then there's you know there's the groups where you know where if you're not the group's favorite artist they don't particularly show you any love either and you know and and that's another thing you can't you can't um stop sharing and enjoying your hobby because you're not getting a hundred likes on your post. Um, I realized that when I were new, when I was newer at painting, I got more likes and more interaction than I do now. Sometimes, um, you know, in in groups or Instagram and stuff like that, um, people tend to not like my work as far as click like my work or my posts as much even in my own group i really to be honest even i say this all the time people think i'm crazy in my own group it's the last group that i post in um the facebook group is the very last group that i will post a baby in and reason being is because most people do not like my pictures or comment or interact with me in my own group they they're there and like I'll see like it'll say it reach 400 and something people and 10 people like it. So it's like you joined my group but you don't like my stuff. Not none of them. Like some of them surely. But no. But that's how it go. But if I rated my worth off of likes. <laughs> I would not be worth jack okay so i stopped doing that that's just like my youtube my youtube used to get like thousands and thousands of views but ever since they slowed down like my viral videos they pretty much like stopped them almost um my views are very very scarce but it doesn't mean anything i didn't stop making youtube videos and i'm definitely not starting over um I did want to do a different type of channel like I wanted to do separate from the doll and vlog but I just I'm, I've never had the time to really do it like go and actually do it so that just never happened for me um my daughter has a channel and well two of my daughters have a channel and I they're kind of inconsistent they are inconsistent um and I was thinking maybe I would just you know pop in on their channels from time to time but yeah I just don't have the time I'm just stretched too thin as it is right now but yeah so that's that um I have like I said I have met some amazing people um even some of the people that I don't talk to today um I am still thankful for meeting them I'm thankful for the time and the laughs and the impact that they did have on my life 
during the time when when you know we were friends or we were interacting um but you know everything sometimes things are just not meant to be forever and it's in passing um but i've had like I've had some bad interactions. I, I will say that I've had some very backstabbing, conniving, some manipulating, trifling things happen to me in this community. I have, but I think I've had more good than bad. Otherwise, I don't think I would still be here, but I've really had some really good. I've met some really genuine people that are not just trying to get something or looking for a discount or a hookup or think I know something that I don't know. Um, I've had some people that just genuinely just like my crazy self and I genuinely like them. Um, I've, you know, done a lot of things off the record um, for people and people have done things off the record for me. And it's just, it's just been a really good, good, um, good experience overall. And that's why I'm still here. And that's why I love my Lola's. I love you guys so much. Um, it's just amazing. You know, every now and then a person will email me or when I used to, when we were, I was going, I was going to doll shows. People would come up to me and say, Hey, I've been following your channel since such and such such time. And it's just, it's, it just amazes me. It's like, you like me, you watch me like, you know, it feels good. Like, I'm human. Like, yeah, I, I don't live for it. It's not going to kill me if you don't. But it, it, it really feels good that, that they do. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's a good feeling to know that I've been on this channel since 2013. And people have, there are quite a bit of people that's been following me since 2013. And still follow me. And they're like you've you never flaked out on us i've never i don't want to get you know people like oh you you know you're like a celebrity to us and i'm like Psh, celebrity what you know it's like and people are like you're just not one of those people that just act like you're all that like but then they, i've heard people say oh she thinks she's all that like how <laughs> Like, who, why, why would I? I'm broke. <laughs> but, um, anyway, I, I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are enjoying these chats. They're very lengthy, I know. Um, I'm gonna do some short videos after this. Um, if, if I hadn't said it before, this is Aspen, um, my second version of Aspen, uh, by Claire Teller. He is painted by me and he may get rooted. He may not depend on if he is the final keeper. I'm gonna paint the other one and decide if I'm gonna keep one or none. I'm not gonna keep both, but one or none. Um, right now I'm really loving him, but I'm gonna see what I do with the next one and I'll make a decision. And that's that. Um, so, I will see you guys later, and again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.